Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PlayOnSports.com. Tonight, it's the semifinals of the Open Division for Northern California between the Carondelet Cougars and the St. Mary's Rams. Hello again, everybody. Paul Sheet live from Blanchard Gymnasium on the campus of San Joaquin Delta College, where tonight we have a fantastic matchup. This is the first year of the Open Division for boys and girls California State basketball, and it has created some amazing matchups along the way, and this semifinal game, no exception. You have the number 12 team in the United States, according to MaxPreps.com, the Carondelet Cougars, taking on the number 14 team in the United States, according to MaxPreps.com, the St. Mary's Rams. Two programs with amazingly proud traditions. Carondelet, nine North Coast section championships, one California state title. For St. Mary's, 14 Sac Joaquin section championships, seven California state titles. Two teams that are just incredibly even matched on paper. Carondelet comes into tonight's game with a record of 27 and three. St. Mary's 31 and two. Both teams like to go, 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 go. St. Mary's comes into tonight averaging 80.3 points per game. Carondelet 79.3 points per game. They have some common opponents throughout the year. St. Francis of Sacramento, uh, St. Mary's of Berkeley, Pleasant Grove of Elk Grove and Deer Valley of Antioch. And the two teams are a combined 8-0 against those four common opponents. So not much to distinguish these two teams. Two very, very good teams. Carondelet probably the edge in size. St. Mary's probably the edge in speed. When you talk about the Carondelet Ball Club, it all begins with their point guard, a very talented 5'7 junior by the name of Natalie Romeo. Romeo comes in averaging 21.5 points per game, 5.6 rebounds per game, has made 67 threes, 6.3 assists per game, and 6.2 steals per game. But Carondelet also has an inside presence in the form of Mackenzie Cass, the power forward. Mackenzie in tonight, averaging 14.2 points per game, 3.2 rebounds, and she is a threat from the outside, having made 86 three-pointers. For St. Mary's, the attack is keyed on the inside and on the outside. In the inside, you have the combination of Sharice Holloway, 13.9 points per game, despite being undersized at 5'8". Unique Coleman, 14.9 points per game uh, at 5'9", at the power forward spot. And we'll be right back with the introduction of the starting lineup shortly. We apologize for the interruption. We're going to get ready now for the introduction of the starting lineups in this game where two very, very evenly teams, evenly matched teams go at it. Uh, as we mentioned, St. Mary's currently ranked number 14 in the United States, according to MaxPreps.com, number seven in the state of California. And uh, meanwhile, Carondelet, number 12 in those rankings, number six in the state of California. Two very, very good teams. The North Coast section champion, the Sac Joaquin section champion, two teams that are incredibly even matched. Look forward to this game tonight. Last Friday night certainly was a thriller, 63-62 in the opening round against Miramonte. And now we get ready for the national anthem.
our national anthem live here from Blanchard Gymnasium on the campus of San Joaquin Delft College. Paul Sheet, proud to bring you all the action here on PlayOnSports.com. And now we get ready for the introduction of the starting lineups. First for the visiting team, Carondelet, which is clad in red with white numerals. Carondelet, the Cougars are coached by Margaret Gartner. At the point guard, a 5'7 junior, number five, Natalie Romeo. At the off guard, a 5'7 senior, number 14, Amy Harioka. At the small forward spot, a 5'7 junior, number 11, Gabriello Grappalo. At the power forward spot, a 5'10 junior, number 23, Mackenzie Cast. And in the middle for Carondelet, a six foot senior, number 10, Lauren Nicolisi. For the St. Mary's Rams, starting lineup tonight. At the point guard, Anome Jim Rigby back in the starting lineup after a considerable absence. She missed the entire Sac Joaquin section playoffs, made her re-entry on Friday night against Miramonte, and she's back in the lineup tonight, averaging 9.0 points per game. Gemma Rigby, a 5'6'' senior, headed to UC Santa Barbara next year. At the off guard spot, the very quick, the very speedy, Bree Moore, a 5'6'' sophomore, averaging 15.5 points per game. At the small forward spot, Number 12, Kat Tudor, a 5'10 freshman, averaging 12.6 points per game. And the thing you always have to watch with Kat Tudor, she comes in with a team leading 102 three-pointers on the year. At the power forward spot, it is Unique Coleman. Coleman, a 5'9 senior, number 32, averaging 14.9 points per game. And at the middle, at the center spot, number 44, Sharice Holloway. Holloway a 5'8 junior averaging 13.9 points per game. And that rounds out your St. Mary's Rams starting lineup there. Of course, coached by Tom Gonsalves, who is in search of his seventh personal state title, the eighth in St. Mary's school history. And we'll be back with the opening, with the, uh, opening tip of this game. Like to let you know right now, St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who help make these games possible on playonsports.com. Chase Chevrolet, The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Like to let you know that if the Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. from the Sleep Train Arena for the NorCal Championship game versus the winner of Bishop of Dowd versus St. Mary's of Berkeley, and that'll be here on playonsports.com. Once again, if the St. Mary's Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the NorCal Championship game here at playonsports.com, your home for high school sports. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival. Fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the Development Office of St. Mary's High School. The number there is 209 area code 957-3340, extension 180. And a reminder, folks, elsewhere tonight in the state, tonight in the Bay Area at Chabot College, it is St. Mary's Berkeley visiting Bishop O'Dowd in the other semifinal here in Northern California. In Southern California, Windward High School, the top ranked team in the state of California with a record of 30 and 0. They are at home at Palisades Charter High School and they're gonna be taking on La Jolla Country Day of San Diego. And also in the other Southern California Division I or Open Division semifinal, it is modern day visiting Santiago High School of Corona in the 2-3 matchup down south. And so the introduction of the starting lineups is taking place now here at Joe Blanchard Gymnasium on the campus of St. Mary's High School. The Rams are clad in their white uniforms, home uniforms with green numerals and green trim. Carondelet in the visiting red uniforms with white numerals and white trim. Two very, very good programs. This matchup was supposed to have taken place a year ago in the semifinals, but Carondelet got upset in the semifinals by Archbishop Mitty, who defeated Carondelet in the semifinals last year, shocked them. And then two days later, 
Archbishop Nitty shocked St. Mary's in the Northern California Championship game, knocking the Rams out of the state playoffs by defeating St. Mary's at the Sleep Train Arena, then the Power Balance Pavilion. And Archbishop Mitty went on to the state championship last year in Division II. And St. Mary's was thwarted in their effort to win an eighth school championship in basketball. So we get ready for the opening tap. The referees are on the floor. Both teams in their pregame huddles getting ready for the opening tip tonight. And we're looking forward to bringing you all the action here on PlayOnSports.com, the new home of St. Mary's High School Sports. And fast becoming the number one home of internet high school sports throughout the United States of America. They have an exclusive relationship now with the Sac Joaquin section where the St. Mary's Rams play their games. And so looking forward to the start of this game. For the teams, again, the starters for Carondelet, Natalie Romeo, Lauren Nicolisi, Gabriella Grupalo, Amy Harioka, and Mackenzie Cast. For the St. Mary's Rams, Anome Gemma Rigby, Kat Tudor, Bree Moore, Unique Coleman, and Sharice Holloway. Two teams that are very young. Carondelet with one senior. St. Mary's with three seniors on this team. Getting ready for the opening tip. It'll be Unique Coleman going up against Lauren Nicolisi. And the ball is up and controlled by Carondelet. Rams come out with the press. They make the steal. Coleman with the steal, and she gets stripped on the way to the bucket by Romeo. Now Carondelet battling that St. Mary's trap in the backcourt. Finally getting it across into the corner. Three-pointer on the way. No good by Cast. Rebound taken by Gemma Rigby. Rams off and running. Gemma Rigby at the point. Kicks it to Coleman into the corner. Coleman dribbles free throw line, kicks it out to Moore, Moore penetrates, Moore splits the defense and makes the layup, Bree Moore with the layup, 2-0 St. Mary's, over the top pass, complete, layup for Mackenzie Cast and she makes the layup, 2-2. The St. Mary's press forces a lot of turnovers, but it is vulnerable to that over the top pass, and Carondelet doing that to perfection right there. Gemma Rigby with the basketball, just inside the arc, looks, Kicks it back out to Tudor. Tudor penetrates, splits the defense, misses the layup. Rebound by Cast. Cast has it stolen in the open floor by Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby with the layup at the other end. 4-2 St. Mary's. Ball is deflected, stolen by Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby penetrates the defense, splits it, and misses the layup. Rebound out to Nicolisi. Nicolisi over the top. Pass is complete to Amy Harioka, who misses the layup, but she got hacked hard. And Amy Harioka will be at the line, shooting two. Foul is on Bree Moore, first personal, first team foul. At the line, Amy Harioka shooting two. Harioka, an 80% free throw shooter on the year. First free throw good. 4-3, St. Mary's in the lead. 6.36 left to go, first period here. Second free throw, also good. We're not at it four. Gemma Rigby with the basketball, penetrates to the side. Now over the top pass to Tudor. Tudor for three. Cat Tudor no good. Ball rebounded, tipped, goes out to Mackenzie Cast. Cast double team. Completes it to Nicolisi, and then it's deflected. Finally coming up with it is Harioka. Harioka kicks it out to Romeo for three, no good. Rebound by Coleman. Unique, over the top to Holloway. Holloway, two on one break, down low to Moore. Moore misses the layup. Moore's put back, no good. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Romeo. Romeo in the open floor, has it deflected out of bounds, and Carondelet will maintain possession. Carondelet to inbound, game tied, 4-4, 6-0-1 left to go, first period. Carondelet finally gets it into Nicolisi. Kicks it out to Romeo. Romeo into Nicolisi in the post. She misses about a four-footer. Gets her own rebound, put back, misses that. Holloway finally comes down with the rebound for St. Mary's. Or check that, it's Coleman. Rams off and running. 
Jim Rigby kicks it out to Moore. Moore penetrates, and Moore makes the layup from the side. 6-4, Rams with the lead. Over the top pass, complete, beautiful touch deflection by Cass, but missing the layup is Nicolisi. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Bree Moore. Bree Moore kicks it out to Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby thought about the three-pointer, changes her mind, kicks it out to Coleman. Coleman, top of the key three, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound battled for by Holloway, her put back, no good. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Holloway, and it'll be Colondolette basketball. A frenetic pace, just like it was the other night here in Friday against Miramonte. Two teams just rattling up and down the floor. St. Mary's averages 80 points a game. Carondelet averages 79, so two teams that like to get it up and down. Into the game for St. Mary's, Carissa Ship replacing Kat Tudor, and Angel Johnson replacing Sharice Holloway. Long pass into Romeo. Romeo has it deflected and stolen by Angel Johnson. Johnson now almost stripped by Romeo. Kicks it out to Lauren Ramos, who's into the game for St. Mary's. Over to Moore. Moore splits the defense, kicks it out to Ship, and Moore gets fouled on the penetration. Fouls on number 11, Gabriela Grupalo. First personal, first team foul. St. Mary's will inbound underneath their own bucket. Leading 6-4. Christina Chenault into the game for Carondelet. Coleman penetrates the defense and makes the layup. A beautiful inside spin move for Coleman to get the layup. Pass to Harioka at the other end. Harioka has a free throw, Jay. No good off the back of the iron. Deflected out of bounds, and it'll go over to St. Mary's. Ball going off of Chenault of Carondelet. St. Mary's leads 8-4, 4.41 left. Substitution on the floor, Sharice Holloway replacing Unique Coleman and an Omei Gemma Rigby on the floor. Replacing Bree Moore. Gonna have to be a lot of substitutions tonight at this pace. Ball inbounded into Gemma Rigby. Anome gets it past token pressure at midcourt. Yo-yoing up and down, top of the key, penetrates. Gemma Rigby floater from four, no good. Holloway rebound put back, no good. Holloway battling for the rebound. Carondelet comes up with it. Carondelet off and running, and Lauren Ramos just does a fantastic job deflecting the ball away from Marcella Hughes of Carondelet, denying her the layup in the open floor, and Carondelet will inbound underneath their own basket. Hughes goes baseline, kicks it out top of the key to Harioka. Harioka penetrates. Harioka's floater is swatted away by Angel Johnson. Pass inside to number 32, Christina Chenault, who makes the layup. 8-6, Rams with the lead. Crowd going crazy on the block shot by Angel Johnson. But Carondelet still comes up with the bucket on that possession. Gemma Rigby in the open floor, top of the key, penetrates, kicks it out to Holloway. Holloway penetrates, Holloway floater inside the lane from eight, no good. Rebound by Angel Johnson, her put back as good. Angel Johnson with the rebound put back bucket. 10-6 St. Mary's, 3.40 left to go, first period. Carondelet off and running, Hughes in the open floor, kicks it into the post, and easy jumper inside by Christina Chenault from six feet, and it's 10-8. Gemma Rigby with token pressure, gets it across midcourt. Gemma Rigby, some confusion between her and Holloway. She expected Holloway to drift back out. Holloway went to the bucket, and Anome throws the ball away. Substitutions for St. Mary's. Unique Coleman back onto the floor, along with Bree Moore. Exiting the game, Anome Gemma Rigby and Maria Lauren Ramos. Rams lead 10-8, Carondelet inbounds. 3.15 left to go, first period. Romeo penetrates the defense, gets the pass in, and an easy layup missed by Romeo. Rebound by Angel Johnson. Rams with a two-on-two -two break. Coleman trying to take it all the way to the rack, and she does, but misses the layup. Rebound taken by Hughes for Carondelet. Push pass to Romeo. Romeo, three-pointer on the way on the break, and they say her foot was on the line. Just a two, 
Natalie Romeo with the two-pointer. It's 10 all. 2.43 left to go, first period. To Holloway into the corner for three. Holloway with the air ball. Rebound by Marcella Hughes. Off and running except Bree Moore steps in the lane, intercepts the pass, and then Moore takes it to the rack and gets the charge called on her. Going right into Romeo, that block call charge. Borderline call, and it goes against Bree Moore. And that'll be the second personal on Moore, second team foul. And Bree Moore will exit the game. And Anome Jemarigby will come back in. Cat Tudor will replace Carissa Ship. 10-10, 2.31 left to go. First period. Chenault looking long. Has it deflected by Holloway. Then Chenault comes up with the rebound on the inbound. Chenault kicks it into the corner for Hughes. Hughes tries to go baseline, and she steps on the out-of-bounds line. Turnover for Carondelet. 10-10, 2.24 left to go, first period. Coleman gets it into Gemma Rigby, who has it deflected out of bounds by Gabriella Grupalo. So St. Mary's will inbound again. Maria Lauren Ramos comes back onto the floor for St. Mary's. Replacing Angel Johnson. Carondelet setting up its press. This gave the Rams fits the other night against Miramani. Gemma Rigby dribbles into the trap. She needs help. She is trapped. Gets it to Lauren Ramos. Lauren Ramos now with a three on two break. Sends it back out to Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby kicks it out to Maria Lauren Ramos. <coughs> Gemma Rigby. Nine seconds on the shot clock. St. Mary's gonna have to do something quick. Five seconds. Gemma Rigby penetrates. Gemma Rigby floats it. And Gemma Rigby makes the layup with one second left to go on the 30 second clock. 12-10, St. Mary's with the lead. And with the press, tipped by Holloway. Stolen by Coleman. Coleman tries to get it down low to Holloway. And Holloway makes the layup. Assist for Unique Coleman. 14-10, St. Mary's with the lead. Over the top now to Grupalo. Grupalo. Completes it to Nicolisi, and Nicolisi wild shot. Grupalo wild put back, and Cat Tudor with the rebound for St. Mary's. And now to Gemma Rigby, who has to dribble through the two-person trap. And over the top pass stolen by Harioka. Harioka with the easy layup. Rams having trouble with the press again. 14-12, 1-10 left to go. First period. Gemma Rigby dribbles through the pressure now. They try the trap on the side, get it into Holloway. Holloway loses the handle, and Holloway makes the turnover. Holloway got that ball in the paint and then just lost control of the basketball, and it goes off of Charisse. Substitutions, Natalie Romeo back into the game, Christina Chenault back into the game. For St. Mary's, Natalie Delgado into the game for the first time tonight, along with Angel Johnson and Bree Moore. Gemma Rigby and Lauren Ramos, among others, taking a seat for St. Mary's. Quick substitutions, ball inbound to Romeo. Romeo kicks it into the corner, three-pointer on the way. In and out, heartbreak, no good by Cast. Rebound, finally controlled by Coleman. Coleman has her pass tipped and stolen on the floor by Cast. Cast down low to Romeo. Romeo with the easy layup, assist and a steal for Mackenzie Cast. We're tied at 14 with 35 seconds left to go, first period. Delgado over the top, two more. Moore splits the defense, gives it up down low, and gives it up to Angel Johnson, who makes the layup. They say Bree Moore charged on the way. And for Bree Moore, if the foul's on Moore, third personal, first team foul, we have no way of knowing that here. Kick out three pointer on the way, air ball thrown up by Grupalo, and it'll be St. Mary's basketball. 14-14, 19.3 seconds left to go. Carondelet comes out in the press. Tudor loses the handle, gives it back up to Coleman. Coleman sees the trap, dribbles through it. Kick into the corner for Tudor. Cat over the top to Coleman. Coleman goes baseline, kicks it out to Delgado. Back over to Moore at the buzzer. Moore's three-pointer, no good off the back of the iron. 
And your score at the end of one period here from San Joaquin Delta College, it is St. Mary's 14 and Carondelet 14. You are listening to the NorCal Girls Open Division semifinals here on playonsports.com. And at the end of the first period, we are knotted at 14. A reminder, folks, that we would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball here on playonsports.com who help make these games possible. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Porto Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. A reminder, if the Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. live from the Sleep Train Arena for the NorCal Championship game versus the winner of Bishop O'Dowd versus St. Mary's of Berkeley, and that'll be here on playonsports.com. Once again, if the St. Mary's Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the NorCal Championship game here at playonsports.com, your home for high school sports. 14-14 at the end of one period. Very close game. Team foul situation, St. Mary's with three. Key question is, is that third foul on Bree Moore? And I don't think it is because she's still on the floor. And pass is deflected and almost stolen by Grupalo. Delgado set to inbound, gets it into Moore. Moore dribbling through pressure, falls down. Battle for the basketball, and it's a jump ball, and the ball will go over to Carondelet. Bree Moore has that tendency. She gets moving so pat fast, she sometimes gets a little bit out of control, and that was an example of it right there. And Bree Moore gonna take a seat, catch a breath, as Anome Gemma Rigby back into the game for St. Mary's. Carondelet. St. Mary's does not press for one of the rare times. Kick into the corner, three-pointer on the way for Harioka, no good. Rebound battled for, and it goes off of the foot of Lauren Nicolisi, and it'll be St. Mary's basketball. Sharice Holloway back into the floor for St. Mary's, along with Carissa Ship. Natalie Delgado taking a seat. Coleman taking things from the point. Dribbles it through the pressure. Three-pointer on the way, top of the key, no good. Long rebound, battled, controlled by Carondelet. Harry Oka in the open floor, one on two. Kicks it out to Nicolisi. Into the corner for Romeo. Romeo for three, in and out, heartbreak. Battle for the rebound, and it goes off of Harry Oka, and it'll be St. Mary's basketball. 14 all, 7.20 left to go in the half. Rams with the basketball. Coleman dribbles through the pressure. Unique penetrates, takes it all the way to the rack and makes the layup. Unique Coleman split the entire Carondelet defense. Romeo's over the top pass complete to Mackenzie Cast who misses the layup. And on the rebound, it goes off of Grupalo, and it'll be St. Mary's basketball. Beautiful pass by Romeo in the open floor to Mackenzie Cast, but Cast missed the layup. Coleman at the point, dribbles it across, and I think we're going to have a reach foul on Carondelet. Foul is on Amy Harioka, first personal. Second team foul on Carondelet. Sharice Holloway now back into the game for St. Mary's. And Kat Tudor going to take a seat. Rams up 16-14 with 6.45 left to go in the half. Bree Moore about to re-enter for St. Mary's as well. Your St. Mary's lineup is Moore, Johnson, Ship, Coleman, and Holloway. Moore with the basketball, gives it down low to Holloway. Holloway misses the shot, but she got fouled from behind. Sharice Holloway will go to the line, shooting two. Fouls on Mackenzie Cast, first personal, third team foul. At the line, shooting two, Sharice Holloway. Holloway on the year, a 65% free throw shooter. 
First free throw, no good off the front of the iron. Second free throw, also no good off the back of the iron. Rebound for Nor Lauren Nicolisi. And the Rams press, and we're going to have a reach foul on St. Mary's on the press. Foul is going to be called on Angel Johnson. First personal, fourth team foul. Unique Coleman will replace Angel Johnson. And the Rams come out in the press after the two missed free throws. Ball is finally controlled by Romeo. Over the top to Grappolo. Into the corner for Harioka. Harioka kicks it out to Cast. Cast for three. No good off the back of the iron. Rebound tipped and controlled by Bree Moore. Moore in the open floor with a three on two break. Gives it to the trailer, Holloway. And Holloway misses the layup, but again draws the foul. Fouls on Amy Harioka. Second personal, fourth team foul. And Holloway back to the line who just missed two to shoot two more. Sharice's free throw is up and no good. So now Sharice is 0 for 3 tonight from the line. Substitution for Carondelet. Marcella Hughes re-enters the game. And Gabriella Grupalo takes a seat. Or check that Amy Harioka takes a seat. Second free throw. Finally good by Holloway. 17-14, Rams with the lead. 6-13 left to go first half. Romeo dribbles through the press, throws it over the top. Grupalo for three, in and out heartbreak. Battle for the rebound. Finally controlled by Holloway. Holloway gives it up to Moore. Moore dribbling through the press. Moore flies to the hoop and misses the layup out of control. Rebound by Romeo. Romeo in the open floor, spin move. Romeo gives it up to the trailer, Grupalo, who misses the layup, battle for the rebound. Put back, put in by Lauren Nicolisi, 17-16. Rams with the lead in the basketball, 5.36 left to go first half. Moore at the point. Gets the ball across. Bree travels on her way to the basket. Bree Moore, a little indecision whether to take it to the rack or dish it to Chris ship. Couldn't decide and made the turnover. Moore tries for the steal at the other end. Has to be careful, has two fouls. Pass down low, and the layup made by Marcella Hughes of Carondelet. And Carondelet out in front, 18-17. 5.09 left to go first half. Coleman flying at the other end, splits the defense, misses the layup in the open break. Coleman, or Holloway, rebound put back, no good. Rebound by Romeo. Natalie in the open floor for Carondelet. Romeo penetrates, throws up a floater, misses the shot, but draws the foul. Natalie Romeo will go to the line shooting two. Fouls on Anome Gemma Rigby. First personal, fifth team foul. And Natalie Romeo will go to the line shooting two. Romeo on the year, 77% from the line. And first free throw, Clank off the front of the rim. Substitutions for St. Mary's, Angel Johnson and Maria Lauren Ramos onto the floor. For Carondelet, Christina Chenault re-enters the game. Second free throw, good. 19-17, Carondelet with the lead, nearly making the steal. Gemma Rigby, though, dribbles through it. Gets it into the corner for Lauren Ramos. Back out to Coleman, into the corner for Tudor, Tudor for three, air ball, no good. Rebound by Nicolisi of Carondelet. Romeo, over the top pass, complete, and then stolen at the other end by Anome Gemma Rigby, and Gemma Rigby gets fouled in the backcourt. Fouls on Gabriella Grupalo. second personal, fifth team foul. Both teams with five team fouls. Bree Moore re-enters the game, replacing Anome Gemma Rigby. 19-17, Carondelet with the lead. 4.33 left to go first half. Lauren Ramos with the basketball, has to avoid the trap, gives it up to Coleman. Coleman needs help, gives it up to Moore, and Moore gets it across. 
Moore over to Coleman. Coleman thought about the three-pointer, passes it up, penetrates, floats in the lane, and gets a six-footer to bank off the glass. 19-19, long over the top pass to Grupalo. Grupalo can't save it. And Romeo that time tried for the home run and struck out. Substitution for the Cougars coming back onto the floor. Amy Harioka, who has two fouls. 4.08 left to go, first half. Three more with the basketball. Carondelet backs off the press. Just one person to beat, Harioka. Moore dribbles through the pressure. Bree penetrates, throws up a floater, misses it. Rebound put back attempt by Angel Johnson, no good. And it is controlled in the open floor by Christina Chenault. Chenault travels in the lane. Christina Chenault came down out of control, got into the lane, and came to a skidding stop and was guilty of the travel. 19-19, 3.46 left to go, first half. And the substitutions just keep flying into the game. Into the open floor for Moore. Coleman dribbling through the press now. Unique kicks it into the corner for Lauren Ramos. Maria for three, air ball, no good. Angel Johnson with the put back bucket and the Rams are up 21-19. Long pass by Romeo, complete to Cast. Cast, mid-range 12-foot jumper, no good. Rebound by Kat Tudor for St. Mary's. Tudor gets it to Moore, who resets the attack for St. Mary's. Bree with the basketball, slowing things down a bit. Rubs off a screen, into the corner for Kat Tudor for three, no good for Tudor. Rebound by Romeo. Romeo with the basketball. Romeo penetrates the defense and goes all the way to the rack for the layup. Natalie Romeo with an exceptional basket, 21 all. Moore comes out of control. Ball gets deflected, Tudor comes up with it. Tudor floater from 10 and it goes off the glass and the iron good. 23-21, Rams back up by two. Back and forth, Romeo now facing the trap. Romeo throws the long pass complete to Harioka. Harioka into the corner, three pointer on the way for Cast, no good. Rebound by Bree Moore. Over to Tudor at the other end, Cat sends it out to Coleman. Coleman thinks about the three pointer, penetrates instead, gives it to Johnson down low and Angel Johnson with the bucket assist from Unique Coleman. 25-21, Rams up by four. Romeo at the other end, dribbles into pressure. Gives it up to Harioka. Harioka wide open three, no good. Rebound by Chenault. Chenault's put back, no good. And the ball gets deflected off of McKenzie Cast. And St. Mary's will control the basketball on the rebound. Substitutions for St. Mary's. And Ome Gemma Rigby onto the floor. Unique Coleman takes a seat. Carissa Ship back onto the floor for the Rams. And Natalie Delgado back out onto the floor for Angel Johnson. Ram lineup now. Moore, Jim Rigby, Delgado, Ship, and Holloway. For Carondelet, Romeo, Grupalo, Harioka, Cast, and Nicolisi. Moore with the basketball, penetrates, splits the defense and makes the layup. Bree Moore with a nice spin move inside, makes the layup, 27-21, 140 left to go first half. Romeo kicks it into the corner for Cast. Cast sends it to back to Romeo, into the corner for Grupalo for three. Grupalo three-pointer, no good. Rebound put back by Romeo, no good. Moore comes down with the rebound and gets fouled. So Bree Moore fouled on the rebound by number 11, Gabriella Grupalo. And that's her third personal, 16 foul. Gabriel, Gabriela Gapalo gonna take a seat. And Marcella Hughes back onto the floor for Carondelet. 128 left to go, first half here from San Joaquin Delta College. Inbound to Delgado. Moore under control. Dribbling it, taking her time, breaking this press. Carioca goes for the steal, can't come up with it. Moore penetrates, Moore kicks it out to Delgado. Delgado three from the wing, no good. Rebound by Harioka. Harioka in the open floor, travels and gets away with it. Crowd goes crazy. 
Romeo kicks it into the corner, three-pointer on the way, and nabbing it is Marcella Hughes. It's 27-24, three-pointer by Hughes. Holloway at the other end, throws up a floater from eight, no good, and on the rebound, we're gonna have a foul on St. Mary's. Foul's gonna be on Natalie Delgado. First personal, 16 foul, both teams will be in the bonus for the remaining 51.3 seconds of the half. Cat Tudor back onto the floor. Delgado, Ship, and Holloway taking a seat. Cast looking, 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 and just beats the five count, giving it up to Romeo. Romeo to Harioka. Harioka gives it out to Nicolisi. Free throw jumper, no good. Rebound by Coleman. Coleman gives it up to Gemma Rigby, and Gemma Rigby gets fouled in the open floor. Foul will be on Amy Harioka, and that's her third personal, 17 foul. So now you've got two Carondelet starters, Gabriella Grupalo and Amy Harioka, each with three personal fouls. And we'll see what effect that has now as Anome Gemma Rigby goes to the line, shooting a one-on-one. Gemma Rigby on the year, 61% from the line. Gemma Rigby's free throw, good. 28-24, St. Mary's with the lead. 41.4 seconds left to go. And Maria Lauren Ramos re-enters the game, replacing Bree Moore. Second free throw. No good off the back of the iron. Angel Johnson with the rebound, and Angel Johnson with the rebound put back bucket, and the Rams up 30 to 24. Romeo trying to dribble through pressure, loses the handle on the basketball, and Natalie Romeo loses the handle. The Carondelet coaching staff saying that she was held, but they don't get the call. And Bree Moore comes back onto the floor as Maria Lauren Ramos will take a seat. 32.2 seconds left to go in the half. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Rams up by six. Cat Tudor into the corner, and she gets hacked. Tudor made a baseline move to the bucket, and Natalie Romeo climbed all over her. And that'll be Romeo's first personal, eighth team foul. And that'll send Cat Tudor to the line to shoot a one-on-one. Cat Tudor, 78% from the line for the year. Maria Lauren Ramos replaces Bree Moore. Cat with a one-on-one here. Free throw is up. And it's good, 31-24, St. Mary's with the lead. 28.9 seconds left to go, first half. Rams with their largest lead of the night right here. Second free throw, it's also good, 32-24, St. Mary's. Rams come out in that full court press. Losing the handle on it is Chenault. Gemma Rigby coming up with a steal. Gives it to Angel Johnson who misses the layup. Getting the rebound, Chenault. Chenault off to Romeo, two on one break. Romeo takes it to the rack, makes the layup, and draws a blocking foul. Natalie Romeo in the open floor. Maria Lauren Ramos stuck as that sole defender in a two-on-one break. Commits the foul. Her first personal, 17 foul. And now Natalie Romeo, a 77% free throw shooter, at the line trying to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. And she does. 32-27, 32-27, 15 seconds left to go in the half. Moore giving it up to Gemma Rigby, 10 seconds. Rams taking their time. Gemma Rigby gets it across. Gemma Rigby with three, two, throws it up to Johnson, and Johnson gets fouled with .3 seconds left to go. Foul is called on Marcella Hughes. First personal, ninth team foul. And it'll be Gemma Rigby at the line, shooting a one-on-one before the shot. Gemma Rigby's free throw is up, no good. And that's it, halftime, folks. Halftime here from Joe Blanchard Gymnasium on the campus of San Joaquin Delta College It is the NorCal semifinals between the Carondelet Cougars and the St. Mary's Rams, and your score at the half, 
32-27, St. Mary's with the lead. And looking at the foul situation for the two teams right now at the half, we don't have official statistics, can't keep scoring up here. Uh, for Carondelet, one foul for Romeo, three fouls for Grupalo, one foul for Hughes, three fouls for Harioka, one foul for Mackenzie Cast. So two Carondelet starters, each with three fouls, Gabriela Grupalo and Amy Harioka. Grupalo averaging 6.7 points per game, 4.4 rebounds coming into the night and Amy Harioka averaging 9.3 points per game, 3.5 rebounds. Rams really don't have anyone in foul trouble. Bree Moore leads the pack with two fouls uh, for uh, St. Mary's. Delgado with one, Gemma Rigby with one, Maria Lauren Ramos with one, Angel Johnson with one, and Sharice Holloway with one. And we're gonna look around the state right now and see what's going on tonight and uh, throughout the rest of this week in the various brackets of uh, the state playoffs tell you what schools are still involved and we'll be doing that shortly here on playonsports.com all right let's look around uh, the state and start with the girls tonight here at san joaquin delta college it is saint mary's hosting carondelet at Chabot College in the Bay Area, Bishop O'Dowd tonight, the number one seed in Northern California, is hosting St. Mary's of Berkeley. In Southern California in the semifinals tonight, you have Windward High School, the top ranked team in the state of California at 30 and 0, and they are at Palisades Charter High School, hosting La Jolla Country Day. In the other semifinal in Southern California, you have Santiago High School of Corona, hosting Modern Day of Orange County, and that is the 3-2 matchup in Southern California. In the girls' Division I bracket, tonight in the semifinals, you have Gunn High School uh, hosting uh, Gunn High School from Gunn High School, the eight seed, is hosting the number 12 seed, Berkeley, tonight. Uh, Gunn pulling several upsets so far in this uh, tournament and they're hosting Berkeley High School tonight and then you have Heritage High School the three seed hosting Oak Ridge and those are your division one semifinals. In the uh, Southern California bracket you've got in division one Long Beach Poly and they are at Bishop Amat tonight and Vista Murrieta High School is at Canyon Springs High School of Moreno Valley in the other semifinal in D1. In Division II tonight for the girls, you have St. Francis High School of Mountain View hosting Florin High School out of Sacramento. And also you have Lynbrook High School out of San Jose hosting Presentation High School out of San Jose in the other Division II semifinals. In Southern California, you have Ridgeview High School of Bakersfield and they are hosting JW North High School of Riverside. La Costa Canyon uh, of Carlsbad is at Linwood High School, and Linwood High School is the host in that game, the two seed in Division II basketball, which is where the Rams have been until this open division was created. In Division Three, you have Sacred Heart Cathedral of San Francisco, who the Rams used to go to war with uh, many, many times en route to uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral winning a couple state titles, St. Mary's winning a couple state titles. It was an annual matchup we look forward to but Sacred Heart Cathedral is in Division Three this year, and they are hosting Camp Alindo High School tonight. Enterprise High School of Redding is at St. Ignatius High School of San Francisco. In Southern California in the Division Three semifinals, Alamany High School of Mission Hills is hosting Reseda High School, and meanwhile, Agura High School is, host, is uh, at Chaminade High School of West Hills. Chaminade, one of the teams that uh, inflicted a loss earlier this year on Carondelet. In Division IV, you have Salesian High School of Menlo, or Salesian High School, rather, out of Richmond, hosting Menlo. And you have Bradshaw Christian up in Sacramento hosting Piedmont High School of San Jose. And meanwhile, you have Sarah High School hosting J. Sarah High School in Southern California, 
in the Division Four bracket, St. Bernard of Playa del Rey at St. Monica Catholic of Santa Monica. And finally in Division Five, your matchups, East Side College Prep hosting International High School, Pinewood High School at Valley Christian. Horizon Christian High School hosting Mesa Grande Academy, Emanuel High School hosting Sierra Canyon in the Southern California division brackets. In the open division for the boys tonight, you have Salesian High School of Richmond hosting Sheldon High School out of Sacramento. You have Modesto Christian traveling to Archbishop Mitty tonight. And that is the matchups in the NorCal boys open division. In Southern California, Etiwanda High School, who is the top ranked boys team right now in the state, Etiwanda is hosting Westchester High School uh, in one semifinal. Long Beach Poly is at Modern Day in the other semifinal in the boys open division. In division one for the boys, Bellarmine at Deer Valley and Pleasant Grove hosting De La Salle. In the Southern California Division I bracket, Santa Monica High School hosting Mission Hills and Loyola High School of Los Angeles hosting Crenshaw High School. In the Boys Division II bracket, Sacramento High School at Dublin and St. Francis High School of Mountain View hosting College Park High School. JW North hosting Westlake High School in Southern California in Division II. And you've got Hoover High School hosting Redondo, or excuse me, at Redondo Union in Southern California in Division I. In Division Three, Sacred Heart Cathedral hosting Sir Francis Drake High School, Enterprise High School of Reading hosting Camp Alindo. You have St. Augustine High School at Cathedral, or hosting Cathedral Catholic in Division Three. Royal High School out of Simi Valley is at Chaminade High School in the other Division Three semifinal for the boys. In the Division Four semifinals, it's Cardinal Newman hosting Soquel High School, Marin Catholic at Archbishop Reardon, and in Southern California, Sarah High School hosting Pacific Hills, and Bishop Montgomery is at the Army-Navy Academy of Carlsbad. And finally, boys Division Five, St. Joseph's High School, out uh, St. Joseph's Notre Dame High School, out of Alameda, hosting perennial Division V power Branson High School. San Francisco University High School hosting Capital Christian. And in Southern California, it's Horizon Christian High School hosting View Park High School. San Gabriel Academy at Buckley of Sherman Oaks. And those are your matchups throughout the state in the various playoff games tonight as we move toward the Northern California and Southern California championship games Friday and Saturday night this weekend. Friday and Saturday night, the Northern California Championships will be at the Sleep Train Arena up in Sacramento, and they will be at Citizens Bank Arena in Ontario in Southern California. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who help make these games possible here on Play On Sports. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. If the Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento for the NorCal Championship game versus the winner of Bishop O'Dowd versus St. Mary's of Berkeley here on PlayOnSports.com. Once again, if the St. Mary's Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the NorCal Championship game here on PlayOnSports.com, your home for high school sports. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival. Fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office of St. Mary's High School. The number there is 209 area code 957-3340, extension 180. And once again, your score at the half, St. Mary's 32, Carondelet 27, you are listening to the NorCal Girls Open Division Semifinals live from San Joaquin Delta College. It is the St. Mary's Rams hosting the Carondelet Cougars and Paul Sheep bringing you all the action live here from Joe Blanchard Gymnasium. Rams have taken the floor. For St. Mary's, it's the starters, Anome Jimmerigby, Cat Tudor, Bree Moore, Sharice Holloway, and Unique Coleman. 
for Carondelet taking the floor. Lauren Nicolisi, Amy Harioka, Natalie Romeo, Mackenzie Cass, and Gabriella Grupala. Rams will inbound to start the second half. Moore finally gets it into Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby dribbles through a trap, and Jim Rigby takes it back out. Jim Rigby penetrates, kicks it out to Tudor. Cat for three, and Cat Tudor eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 35-27. Ball complete into the corner. Harioka penetrates baseline, and Harioka with the easy layup. Harioka faked the three-pointer from the baseline and took it all the way to the rack for the layup. Moore penetrates, thinks about the three-pointer, kicks it to Tudor at the other end, and it's deflected out of bounds by Natalie Romeo. Rams will maintain possession, 19 on the shot clock. 35-29, St. Mary's with the lead. 7.22 left to go third quarter. Ball into the low block to Holloway. Holloway stuck in the low block, kicks it back out to Tudor. Tudor now trapped, double teamed on the baseline. Gets it to Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby back to Moore, eight seconds on the shot clock. Bree penetrates, throws up a floater from five, no good. Rebound by Nicolisi. Nicolisi's pass is stolen by Bree Moore. Moore takes it to the rack and makes the layup. 37-29, Rams again with their largest lead of the night, eight points. At the other end, three-pointer on the way for Cass, no good. Rebound, putback bucket, no good by Nicolisi. And then we're gonna have a foul on the rebound. Foul is on Sharice Holloway. First personal, check that. First team foul. Inbound to Cast. Cast kicks it out to Harioka. Harioka thought about the top of the key three. Penetrates instead, loses the handle on the basketball, and her shot is blocked out of bounds by Sharice Holloway. Carondelet will maintain, maintain possession. They trail 37-29. Holloway again strips the ball out of bounds, and Carondelet will have to inbound again. Rams with constant pressure, always going for that steal. Romeo. Looking, looking, looking. Close to the five second call, and it is five seconds. Natalie Romeo couldn't find any one of her Carondelet teammates, and it is a turnover for Carondelet. And now Carondelet comes out in a full court press. Extremely effective the other night for Miramonte. And now Jim Rigby tells Moore, clear things out, I'll just dribble through this. And she gets it across. Bree Moore with the basketball, stutter stepping, kicking it out to Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby for three, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound by Nicolisi for Carondelet. Romeo in the open floor. Throws the pass to Harioka down low. Harioka makes the layup, assist for Natalie Romeo. 37-31. Jim Rigby stutter steps the sideline, maintains control. Moore in the open floor. Tries to kick it down low to Holloway, loses the handle, and it's going to be turnover for Bree Moore. Jim Rigby goes for the steal. Romeo comes up with it for Carondelet. Romeo in the open floor, penetrates, kicks it down low to Nicolisi, and Nicolisi in the paint makes the bank bucket. 37-33, and Carondelet on a 4-0 run. Cuts it to a four-point lead. Into the corner for Tudor. Cat Tudor for three. No good off the back of the iron. Long rebound taken by Holloway. Holloway gets fouled on her way to the bucket, and she'll shoot two. Fouls on Mackenzie Cast. Second personal, first team foul. Holloway at the line, a 65% free throw shooter to shoot two. Holloway makes her first one. She missed her first three tonight before finally hitting her fourth. Angel Johnson will replace Anome Gemma Rigby. 38-33, St. Mary's with the lead. Holloway about to shoot her second free throw. And she gets it, 39-33. Maria Lauren Ramos onto the floor, replacing Kat Tudor. 
And the Rams, of course, with full court pressure. What else? Fronlet finally gets it into Romeo. Harioka now with the basketball, dribbles through the press. Harioka into the corner for Cast. Cast for three, no good off the iron. Rebound by Bree Moore. Moore with a two on three break. Moore penetrates and Moore with the layup. Bree Moore with the quickness with the bucket. 41 33. Over the top to Harioka and Harioka with a layup at the other end. 41 35. Rams not back on defense that time. Kick into the corner for Holloway. Holloway goes baseline. Holloway gets away with the travel and makes the bucket off the glass. 43-35, Rams back up by eight. Rams with pressure. Romeo's over the top pass, and she get knocked to the floor. And we're gonna have a foul on St. Mary's. Foul is on Angel Johnson. Her third personal, second team foul. And Carissa Ship gonna replace Bree Moore. And Anome Jimmerigby gonna replace Angel Johnson. Rupalo looking, looking, looking for someone. Finally gets it into Romeo. Romeo dribbling through the pressure. Romeo on the break sends it to Harioka. Harioka dribbles back to the top of the key. Back out to Romeo. Romeo now loses the handle. Saved by Carondelet. Bucket at the other end. Off the glass by, by Grupalo. And Grupalo hits an eight footer off the glass. 43-37. Gemma Rigby out of control at the other end. Finally gets back the handle of the basketball. Gemma Rigby penetrates, splits the defense, gives it up to Holloway. Assist for Gemma Rigby, bucket for Sharice Holloway. 45-37. Romeo now throwing it over the top to Grupalo. Grupalo down low to Harioka. Harioka misses the layup inside. Rebound by Coleman. Coleman with a two-on-two -two break. And Coleman gets it across to Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby falls down, and we're going to have a blocking foul. And I think that's going to be on Amy Harioka, and that'll be her fourth personal if it is. And it is on Amy Harioka, fourth personal. Second team foul. Cat Tudor back into the game. Bree Moore back into the game. Maria Lauren Ramos and Anome Jim Rigby taking a seat. And we've got a timeout here on the floor. 3.55 left to go, third period. St. Mary's 45, Carondelet 37. You are listening to the NorCal Girls Open Division Semifinals here on PlayOnSports.com. Paul Sheet bringing you all the action high atop Joe Blanchard Gymnasium on the campus of San Joaquin Delta College. A reminder, folks, St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com. Chase Chevrolet, The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. If the Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m from Sleep Train Arena for the NorCal Championship game versus the winner of Bishop O'Dowd versus St. Mary's of Berkeley. And that matchup will be here on PlayOnSports.com. Once again, if the St. Mary's Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the NorCal Championship game here at PlayOnSports.com, your home for high school sports. Rams to inbound after the foul. They lead 45-37. Coleman finally gets it into the backcourt to Moore, Moore loses the handle on the basketball, finally comes up with it. Bree thinks about a top of the key three, kicks it out to Coleman, Coleman into the low block to Holloway, Holloway with a spin move and Holloway gets fouled on her way to the bucket. <laughs> Fouls on Lauren Nicolisi. First personal, third team foul. Sharice Holloway at the line, shooting two. First free throw, no good off the front of the iron. Holloway on the year, 65% from the stripe. Second free throw. Gets it to go, 46-37. Nine point lead, largest of the night for St. Mary's. 
and Romeo tried to throw it over the top. Instead, it's deflected out of bounds by Coleman, and it'll be Carondelet basketball. Into Romeo, Romeo kicks it into the corner. Three-pointer on the way for Hughes, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it goes off of Carissa Ship, and it'll be Carondelet basketball. 46-37, St. Mary's with the lead. 3.31 left to go, third period here from San Joaquin Delta College. Ball finally complete to Romeo. Down low. Nobody saw Laura Nicolisi except for Gabriello Grupalo, who gets the assist, and Nicolisi gets the bucket, and it's 46-39. Layup given up by St. Mary's. Free Moore with the basketball. Moore penetrates the defense, throws up a floater from six, no good. Christina Chenault with the rebound. Chenault kicks it out to Romeo. Romeo takes it to the rack, makes the layup, and draws the foul. Foul on Natalie Romeo, or basket by Natalie Romeo. Fouls on Cat Tudor. First personal, third team foul. And Romeo will shoot one and makes it for the old fashioned three pointer. And just like that, the nine point lead is down to four, 46 42. Moore with the basketball, gives it up to Ship. Ship goes, baseline throws in a floater from five. Romeo's pass complete on the run to Grupalo, kick out to a three-pointer for Hughes. Hughes three-pointer, no good. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Grupalo. Get it into Chenault. Chenault's shot is blocked. Tudor with the rebound, gives it up to Moore. Moore on the break, and Moore misses the layup. Battle for the rebound on the floor, and Carondelet controls. Giving it up on the break to Romeo. Romeo for three, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound put back bucket by Lauren Nicolisi. 48-44. Rams lead by four. Coleman gets it over to Ship. Ship loses the handle, gets it back in the corner. And timeout, St. Mary's. 2.07 left to go here in the third period. St. Mary's leads 48 44. You're listening to the NorCal Open Division Girls Semifinals live here from San Joaquin Delta College. Score St. Mary's 48, Carondelet 44. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival. Fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office of St. Mary's High School. The number there is 209 area code 957-3340, extension 180. 48-44, St. Mary's with the lead and the basketball. 2.07 left to go, third period. Moore finally gets it into Jim Rigby in the backcourt. Jim Rigby directing the attack near midcourt, dribbles it top of the key, gives it up to Coleman. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Coleman kicks it into Tudor. Tudor, 15 foot jumper from the side, no good. Rebound by Tudor. Give it up to Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby sends it back out to Moore. Moore kicks it back to Gemma Rigby. Over to Tudor, Tudor for three. Cat Tudor eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 51-44. Romeo in the open floor, gives it up to Chenault. Back to Romeo, over the top to Chenault at the free throw line. Kick out to Hughes for three. And Marcella Hughes eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 51-47. 115 left to go. Rams up by four. Gemma Rigby penetrates, throws up a hook shot from eight, no good. Angel Johnson with the rebound, kicks it out. Three pointer on the way by Coleman, no good. And rebound finally controlled by Hughes. Stolen in the open floor by Bree Moore. Moore takes it to the rack and misses the layup. Moore gets her own rebound. Moore in the paint, travels. Coach Tom Gonsalves not agreeing with the call, getting a little emotional. 45.5 seconds left to go, third quarter. St. Mary's 51, Carondelet 47. 
Therese Holloway and Maria Lauren Ramos re-enter the game. 45.5 seconds left to go. At the other end, Moore with the steal. Moore thinks about a long three-pointer and has it stolen right back by Romeo. And then Moore, out of frustration, reaches on Romeo in the open floor. Foul is on Bree Moore. Third personal, fourth team foul. Carondelet will inbound with 36.8 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Unique Coleman replaces Bree Moore. Romeo in the open floor, kicks it down low to Chenault. Chenault loses the handle, but it goes off of Jim Rigby. Carondelet will maintain possession. Coach Gartner gets off the bench and holds up the number three. Romeo finally gets it inbound to Hughes. Hughes thought about a top of the key three. Penetrates instead, throws a floater off the glass and gets it to go. 51-49, shot clock is off. 25 seconds left to go in the half. Rams up by two with the basketball. Holloway gets trapped. Holloway gets called, or St. Mary's calls a timeout. 51-49 with 14.8 seconds left to go. Here in the first half, timeout situation. St. Mary's has three now, and Carondelet has four. And 16 or uh, 15 point something seconds left to go here in the third quarter. St. Mary's 51, Carondelet 49. On the floor for St. Mary's. It is Tudor, Jim Rigby, Ship, Holloway, and Coleman for Carondelet. Chenault, Cast, Romeo, Nicolisi, and Hughes. 10 seconds on the clock. Jim Rigby with the basketball. Crowd shouting it down. Six, five. Kick out to Tudor for three. Cat Tudor's three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Coleman, and she can't get a putback attempt up. They had a perfect look. Cat Tudor from the wing for three, and she misses it. And your score at the end of three periods, it is St. Mary's 51 and Carondelet 49. At the end of three periods, you are listening to the NorCal semifinals here on playonsports.com, live from San Joaquin Delta College it's the number 12 team in the United States, Carondelet, at the number 14 team in the United States, St. Mary's. And it has been as good as advertised here at the end of three periods. 51-49, just two points separating these two very, very evenly matched teams. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on Play on Sports. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Corto Olive Oil, McDonald's, and the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Fifty-one forty-nine. Fourth quarter about to start. An incredibly evenly matched game tonight here from San Joaquin Delta College. And it'll be Carondelet to inbound to start the fourth quarter. Romeo with the basketball. Rams, of course, come out with a press. Romeo, give and go. Now Romeo with the basketball. Romeo kicks it out to Harioka. Harioka to Nicolisi. Nicolisi steps on the out of bounds line. Carondelet turnover. Nicolisi was wide open for a layup, and she couldn't quite control the basketball, and she steps on the out-of-bounds line. Christina Chenault into the game, replacing Amy Harioka. For St. Mary's, it's Moore, Gemma Rigby, Coleman, Tudor, and Holloway, the starting five. Moore with the basketball, gives it up to Coleman. Coleman near midcourt, 
Dribbles to the wing. Kicks out to Moore. Moore for an NBA three-pointer, no good. Rebound by a flying Holloway, and Holloway gets the rebound put back bucket. At the other end, long pass complete. To Grupalo. Grupalo loses the handle, but coming up with the handle is Chenault. And Chenault makes the bucket, and it's 53-51. 7-15 left to go in the game. Back and forth, back and forth between these two very good basketball teams. Gemma Rigby with the basketball. Gemma Rigby has her shot blocked by Romeo, but then we get a foul called. And the foul is called on Natalie Romeo, second personal, fourth team foul, and Anome Gemma Rigby will go to the line shooting two. First free throw up, it's good. 54-51, St. Mary's with the lead. 6.59 left to go in the game. Second free throw, also good. 55-51, and the Rams with pressure. Romeo trying to dribble through it. Throws it over the top to Grupalo. Grupalo into the corner for Cast. Cast for three, no good. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby, two on two break. Gemma Rigby gives it to the trailer, Holloway, who makes the layup, assist for Gemma Rigby. Off and flying is Carondelet. Romeo, getting harassed, manages to give it up to Chenault, and Chenault gets fouled right near midcourt. It'll be a reach on St. Mary's. Fouls on Unique Coleman, first personal. 15 foul on St. Mary's. Angel Johnson enters the game. Anome Jimmer Rigby takes a seat. Rams up 57 51, 633 left to go in this one. Romeo near midcourt. Ball is deflected and stolen by Coleman. Coleman has her pass deflected and coming back up with it is Carondelet. Over the top, pass to Chenault. Chenault with a two on three break. Chenault goes for the layup and misses the layup but draws the foul. Foul's called on Kat Tudor. Second personal. Six team foul. So Carondelet will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Christina Chenault will shoot two. Makes the first one, and that's the first free throw Chenault has made all year. Zero percent coming into tonight. Second free throw also good, 57-53. Rams up by four with the basketball. Moore dribbles through the pressure. Bree penetrates. Bree goes all the way to the rack for the layup. 59-53, Moore shredding the defense there. Romeo over the top pass to, to Grappolo, whose pass is stolen by Moore at the other end. Moore linked to the court pass to Holloway. Holloway with the layup, assist and steal for Bree Moore. 61-53, and Carondelet calls timeout. 5-53 left to go in this one. St. Mary's 61, Carondelet 53. You are listening to the NorCal semifinals. Open Division Girls Basketball here on PlayOnSports.com. A reminder, folks, if the Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. from the Sleep Train Arena for the NorCal Championship game versus the winner of Bishop O'Dowd versus St. Mary's of Berkeley here on PlayOnSports.com. Once again, if the St. Mary's Rams win tonight, we will be there Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the NorCal Championship game here at PlayOnSports.com. Your home for high school sports. So St. Mary's back up, 61-53. Largest lead St. Mary's has enjoyed tonight has been nine points. Carondelet at one point had a one-point lead. They have trailed for most of this game, but it's been really, really close. Like I said, biggest spread of the night has been nine. Every time St. Mary's pulls away with one of these little mini runs, Carondelet has responded to make it a one or two point game. 
Carondelet will inbound. Christina Chenault set to inbound for the Cougars. Rams with full court pressure. Chenault gets it into Romeo. Romeo dribbling through the defense, gets it across. Now the Rams with a half court trap. And Romeo finally kicks it out to Chenault. Harioka into the game. Harioka's pass gets kicked by Tudor. And fresh 30 second shot clock for Carondelet. 5.39 left to go in the game. St. Mary's 61, Carondelet 53. Maria Lauren Ramos comes into the game, replacing Kat Tudor. Nicolisi over to Chenault. Romeo for three from the wing. No good off the front of the iron. Battle for the rebound. Harioka gets it and has her shot blocked and stolen by Coleman. Moore gives it up to Coleman. Coleman back to Moore. Moore shuffles, takes it into the paint, kicks it out to Holloway. Holloway goes baseline, sends it back to Moore. Moore for three, and Bree Moore eyes it, tries it, and buys it. Rams with their biggest lead of the night, 64-53. 5.02 left to go. Down low to Harioka. Harioka makes the bucket assist for Lauren Nicolisi. 64-55. Carondelet with the press. Moore's pass to Coleman. She loses the handle, gets it back. Coleman in the open floor, splits the defense, misses the layup. Battle for the rebound. Angel Johnson controls, kicks it out to Coleman. Top of the key to Coleman, or excuse me, to Moore. Moore penetrates. Moore throws up a floater, no good. Rebound for Holloway. Holloway has her shot blocked from behind, but coming up with the deflection is Johnson. Holloway sends it out to Lauren Ramos. Moore now penetrates, spins, throws up an out of control shot and she traveled on her way to the rack. Turnover, St. Mary's. Substitutions for the Rams, Kat Tudor and Anome Jemarigby into the game. Angel Johnson taking a seat. Maria Lauren Ramos taking a seat. For Carondelet, Gabriella Grupalo back into the game and Christina Chenault takes a seat. Romeo with the basketball, dribbling through the pressure. Bounce pass to Harioka. Harioka has her pass stolen by Moore. Moore in the open floor. Four on four break. Gives it up to Coleman. Coleman for three, no good. Rebound by Romeo. Romeo, length of the court pass down to Grupalo, and Grupalo with the layup. Gabriela Grupalo with the layup assist by Natalie Romeo. 64-57. And Carondelet now on a 4-0 run of their own. 3.42 left to go in this one. Rams with the lead and the basketball. Bree Moore with it. Kicks it into the corner for Tudor. Tudor for three. And Kat Tudor is now feeling it. She eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 67-57. Length of the court pass to Harioka. Harioka has her shot blocked out of bounds by Tudor. And it will be Carondelet basketball. 67-57, 3.25 left to go in the game. Sharice Holloway gonna take a breather. Angel Johnson back onto the floor. Romeo to inbound for Carondelet. Romeo gets it into McKenzie Cast. Cast free throw jumper on the way, gets it to go. 67-59, Carondelet cuts it to eight. Get it into Coleman. Coleman over the top to Moore, and Moore Gets fouled by Mackenzie Cast in the open floor. For Mackenzie Cast, that's her third personal. Fifth team foul on Carondelet. So St. Mary's will inbound with 3.11 left to go in the game. Up by eight. They get it into Gemma Rigby. Anome gives it up to Coleman. Coleman goes top of the key, sends it back out to Moore. 17 on the shot clock. Moore penetrates, kicks it out to Coleman. Coleman thinks about the three. Instead takes it back out, top of the key. Nine seconds, eight seconds on the shot clock. Coleman penetrates, misses the layup from the side. Rebound by Moore, and Moore gets fouled on the rebound. Foul is on Lauren Nicolisi. 
Second personal. Second. Second personal. Six team foul. Rams will be in the bonus the rest of the way, but they have to inbound after this one. 2.44 left to go in the game. St. Mary 67. Carondelet 59. Gemma Rigby's pass into Moore. And coming up with a steal is Grupalo. Grupalo, length of the court pass to Harioka. Harioka with the layup, and it's 67 61. Every time the Rams think that they can put away Carondelet, Carondelet comes roaring back into this one. Gemma Rigby with the basketball. Gemma Rigby penetrates, and Gemma Rigby resets the offense. Gemma Rigby tries to pass for Holloway, and it's too tall. Holloway had good position in the low block, but Jim Rigby's pass was just a little too tall. Ball is stolen from Romeo by Jim Rigby. Back out to Moore. Moore floats and Moore draws the foul in the paint from Lauren Nicolisi. Third personal, 17 foul. Rams will go to the line following a timeout by Carondelet. 2.01 left to go in the game. St. Mary's 67, Carondelet 61. You are listening to the NorCal Semifinals Open Division Girls Basketball Semifinals live here from San Joaquin Delta College here on PlayOnSports.com. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office of St. Mary's High School. The number there is 209 area code 957-3340 extension 180. 67-61, 201 left to go in the game. Bree Moore at the line. Bree Moore will shoot two. In the act of shooting when she was fouled. First free throw is up and no good. Off the side of the iron. Moore on the year, a 69% free throw shooter. Second free throw, good. 68-61. Carondelet with the basketball. Romeo in the open floor. Romeo takes it to the rack and banks it off the glass. 68-63, Carondelet cuts it to five. Moore needs to get the ball in bounds, just does to Coleman. Now Moore on the give and go with a two on one break, gives it to the trailer, Holloway, who makes the layup assist, Bree Moore, 70-63. Over to Harioka. Harioka penetrates baseline. Harioka has it deflected, but the deflection goes to Nicolisi, who makes the floater in the paint. 70 65. 123 left to go in this one. Moore in the backcourt, being guarded closely by Romeo. Dribbles through the pressure, and I believe we're going to have a blocking foul on Natalie Romeo. And it'll be a one-on-one -on -one here for Bree Moore. Foul on Romeo, third personal, eighth team foul. So crucial one-on-one -on -one bonus situation here. Free throw is up and it's good. 71-65, 113 left to go in the game. St. Mary's with a six point lead. Second free throw, good. 72-65, 113 left to go in the game. Romeo with the basketball for Carondelet. Romeo penetrates, kicks it out on the wing, into the paint for Nicolisi, and Nicolisi with the easy layup, assist for Gabriella Grupalo, 72-67. Rams get it into Coleman. Now trapped in the backcourt is Moore. Moore gives it up to Gemma Rigby. Gemma Rigby dribbles it across. Gemma Rigby dribbling through the trap, and Gemma Rigby gets fouled near midcourt. And Natalie Romeo gets called for her fourth personal, ninth team foul. 
And so that'll send a Nome Jimmerd beat to the line with 50.2 seconds left to go in the game, shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. Rams will be in the double bonus the rest of the way. Free throw up, no good off the front of the iron. And controlled, Holloway tips the rebound to Jim Rigby. Jim Rigby gives it up to Moore. Rams will run clock. And we're gonna have a reach foul here on McKenzie Cast. Fourth personal, 10th team foul. And shooting the double bonus will be Bree Moore, but Carondelet first calls timeout. 43.3 seconds left to go in this one. Live from San Joaquin Delta College, it is the NorCal Open Division Girls Semifinals. The number two seed, St. Mary's High School, leads the number three seed, Carondelet, 72 to 67. And Paul Sheep bringing you all the action here from Delta College. A back and forth game, just like it was Friday night when the Rams prevailed 63-62 over a very talented Miramonte team. And now they're facing a talented Carondelet team, the number 12 team in the United States of America, according to maxpreps.com, number six in the state of California. And you can see that these are two of the top 15 teams in the country as they have gone back and forth with each other. Rams with a five point lead, going to the line, shooting a double bonus, will be Bree Moore. Carondelet with one timeout left. St. Mary's with three. Team foul situation. Carondelet with 10. St. Mary's with six. Bree Moore to the line, shooting the double bonus. 43.3 seconds left to go. Free throw is up. It's good. 73-67. Rams with a six-point lead. Second free throw. Good, 74-67, Rams up by seven. Romeo with the ball in the open floor, dribbles through the pressure, streaks into the front court. Romeo takes it to the rack, misses the shot. Battle by Holloway for the rebound. And Moore gets fouled in the back court. Foul is on Lauren Nicolosi, fourth personal. Foul is, check that on Gabriella Grupalo, fourth personal. Bree Morris first free throw, no good off the back of the iron. 74-67, 33 ticks left to go in the game. Rams up by seven. Second free throw, no good also. Coleman came flying in for the rebound, but it goes off her knee. And Carondelet calls its final timeout. 32.2 seconds left to go in this one. St. Mary's leads 74-67 as we've got a full timeout. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible on playonsports.com. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Elsewhere in the girls' open division tonight, you have Carondelet at St. Mary's, as we know. We're at 74-67 in this game. At Chabot College in the Bay Area tonight, it is St. Mary's of Berkeley, the number four seed in Northern California, 28-4. and four. And they are at Bishop O'Dowd, the number one seed in Northern California, who is 26 and three. Bishop O'Dowd, the last team St. Mary's lost to back on February 9th, 80 to 59 at Bishop O'Dowd. In Southern California, the number one seed Windward High School is hosting La Jolla Country Day and Modern Day at Santiago. Inbound to Romeo. Romeo gives it up to Cast. Cast, NBA three-pointer on the way and he gets it to go. 74-70, hang on folks, we ain't done yet. Inbound to Moore, Moore in the open floor. Dribbling through the pressure, Bree keeping control of the basketball. Waiting to get fouled. And they give it up to Coleman. Six seconds, five seconds, and finally 
with 4.3 seconds left to go. Carondelet absolutely needed to foul much sooner, and they let valuable clock get away. And the senior on this team, Amy Harioka, with 4.3 seconds left to go, commits her fifth personal foul, and she will exit the floor for what will be her final basketball game in all likelihood with 4.3 seconds left to go. Back into the game, Christina Chenault and St. Mary's with 4.3 seconds left to go calls timeout. Coach Tom Gonsalves wants to go over the scenarios here with 4.3 seconds left to go and a four point lead as long as St. Mary's does not commit a foul no matter what happens on these free throws it is unlikely Carondelet being out of timeouts will have a chance to do anything stopping the clock or otherwise. St. Mary's up 74-70, 4.3 seconds left to go and it looks like in all likelihood the Rams will be there Saturday night, 6 o'clock, from the Sleep Train Arena. It will be the St. Mary's Rams playing the winner of St. Mary's of Berkeley versus Bishop O'Dowd. Anome Gemma Rigby will go to the line shooting the double bonus with 4.3 seconds left to go. First free throw up, no good off the front of the iron. The free throws aren't important, it's just important literally that St. Mary's not even move on defense. Second free throw good, 75-70. Inbound pass. Romeo loses the handle, throws up a free throw jumper, no good off the back of the iron. And that's your final here from San Joaquin Delta College. It is the St. Mary's Rams 70, the, or 75, the Carondelet Cougars 70. The St. Mary's Rams advance to the NorCal Open Division Finals where they will take on the winner of Bishop O'Dowd and St. Mary's Berkeley, six o'clock Saturday night, live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento, it'll be the NorCal Open Division Girls Championship between Bishop O'Dowd or St. Mary's of Berkeley versus St. Mary's Rams who win tonight 75-70. Paul Sheet proud to bring you this matchup here on PlayOnSports.com. Once again, final score, St. Mary's 75, Carondelet 70. We'll see you Saturday night, six o'clock from Sleep Train Arena for the NorCal Championships. Good night, everybody.